Okay, let's continue on with part two of our week one overview for English 1A fall semester at Mount San Antonio College. So I'm going to take you through the different parts of Canvas that you need to check into and to read in order to navigate this online course. First of all, if you sign in in, in my portal, and if you, I'm going to get it closed, but right when you do sign in, but this lets you know, these are the instructions. So you're going to log into my portal. You're going to click on the Canvas tab. You're going to log into the Mount SAC Canvas. Now, when you go into Mount SAC Canvas, the first thing you're going to see is, hey, Mounties, get ready for your fall classes. And this is what I'm showing you right now. Okay? And that gives you directions on, if you're not familiar with Canvas, how to use it, how to access it, all the other parts. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's navigate Canvas. First of all, let's look over here on our dashboard on the side. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to click on Courses. And right here, I, you see the two English 1A courses. So I'm going to click on, let's say you're in this course. There's your course. And that brings you to the home page for English 1A 99. You'll notice there are direct links. For example, if I click on this link, that takes you to a complete welcome announcement for the course. Okay? Complete information regarding course. Let's go back to home. Let's see what else is on the home page. If we move down, we notice that we have a link to using Canvas during school closure and higher ed. Also on the home page, you have a link uh, a link to my outside class website. So we'll click on that. Now, this outside class website is very comprehensive. It has a lot of extra information on it. It has information on the home page regarding the extra credit assignment. As you see over here, it also has other tutorials. It has the complete syllabus and course schedule. It has the Kite Runner reading guide, summary response. I highly recommend that you look at the different parts of this. Okay, so let's go back to the home page again. Here we are. If you click on this link, link to course syllabus. Okay, that has the complete course syllabus. I recommend that you read it very carefully. It's the first thing you need to do is read the course syllabus. You notice at the very top there you have the two texts that are required, the Bedford Guide for College Writing and the Kite Runner. I even include the ISBN number. So you make sure you get the right edition. Has all the prerequisite course description. One of the most important parts though is this part on page one, which is the parameters for the distance learning. Pay particular attention to this. Read it very, very carefully. Okay, now let's go back to the home page. And let's look at the next link. The next link is to English 1A Schedule of Assignments. It is a Microsoft Word document. It 
there you have your your assignments and as you can see as I described in the syllabus I assign and let's look at our first week I make assignments on Mondays and Wednesdays for this course so you'll notice right away it says all students need to check into the chat section of canvas by 11 p.m. this is also your chance to ask general questions regarding the course watch the weekly overview YouTube video if you're on here, you're watching it. Do the diagnostic essay, promptless in the file section of Canvas week one module. Has the assignments. Checking into chat by 11 p.m. The next day assignment, Wednesday. You'll notice on Wednesday, your type diagnostic essay is due by 11 p.m. on Wednesday. Remember I said I give you like 48 hours? Required discussion thread is assigned on Wednesday. That first discussion thread is due next Monday, a week from tomorrow by 11 p.m. as well as the journals. Okay, so read that carefully. And read that before you go into the chat and ask any questions. Okay, here I have an introduction to the course. Okay, now you notice in the course it talks about your week modules. The course is divided in Canvas into modules. Let's go over here and look at our navigation. And if we look under the modules, click on module, there is your week one module. All the assignments are in the week one module. For example, there's your weekly overview. Read it carefully. Has all the rules and things that I have set out here. Next, you start having your assignment, week one essay assignment, the diagnostic. If you click on that link in there, it has down the diagnostic essay assignment. And there is the link to the file that has the prompt for the diagnostic assignment. Okay, let's go on. You notice in there, it has down that it's for everyone. It's available from August 24th at 7 a.m. until August 26th at 11 p.m. Let's go back to our module. The next things that are listed in the module are journal assignments that are made during week one. And this one only has one, and it's due on the 31st. Then it has your discussions. Now again, as I said, discussions are very, very important. I keep attendance per your participation in discussions. Okay, so if you click on the number one discussion, you see a statement and what I asked you to do. And then you have two different responses that you need to make. Okay. Okay. 
Now finally, the final section in the week one module is files and handouts. All files and handouts that you would need to use or would want to use for week one is in the week one files and handouts section. Everything from the syllabus and the assignments to another copy of the diagnostic prompt to a grammar and usage lessons um, to a sample of how the journal should be formatted, um, the background and reading guide for the Kite Runner, the novel, that is all there in that file section. Now, so you know, every single week is going to be set up the same way. So for every single week, it'll be posted at least by the Sunday before, You'll be able to watch the, the weekly overview video. You'll be able to go into the module and be able to see all the assignments that are set up and follow those directions. All the files will be in a separate file folder for that week. So again, it's really important for you to use Canvas because it is the center of the course. I grade as you go on everything. Um, so what I'm asking you to do now when you get this announcement for this one is to go into Canvas and explore it thoroughly. All of your discussion threads are going to be done in the discussion session of Canvas. All of your essay assignments, all of your journal assignments, all of assignments will be done via file upload you don't email them to me you will click on the assignment and it'll have you upload the file only using pdf files or word files no notebook apple files okay so i hope this helps you navigate a little bit better any question regarding canvas um again if you go to the home page on canvas you will see help for Monty's. There you go. Again, questions regarding Canvas, there's your help section. So I look forward to communicating with you, having you all introduce yourself by 11 p.m. tomorrow night, Monday. And um, welcome to fall semester. Thank you.